It's a reality of using acoustic guitars on live stages that they tend to be beset with a lot of feedback issues. Now, of course, there are a lot of products and technologies available on the market to counter this. But the problem is that they'll often kill a lot of your natural acoustic tone along with the feedback. The Boss AD10 acoustic preamp brings some powerful and advanced anti-feedback technologies, including a feedback reduction knob and two notch controls. The reduction knob is a new innovation which engages some unique circuitry that intelligently controls feedback with minimum sound character change. It's able to process your guitar signal in real time, constantly monitoring for feedback occurrence and automatically reshaping the sound to adapt. This reduction technology is amazingly unobtrusive to your guitar tone. It's already very transparent, but by having the knob there you only need to dial in just the amount you need for your playing situation. Using this reduction feature will eliminate the majority of any feedback issues without impacting your carefully crafted guitar tone. For extreme situations, the AD10 has another powerful anti-feedback feature, two notch buttons. Each of the notch controls actually features a dual filter. You can zone in on a troublesome feedback frequency and the notch control will remove it along with its main harmonic overtone. These two intelligent notch controls can be set either manually or automatically. To use the notch manually, you just press one of the notch buttons and then use the cursor buttons to dial in the exact musical note that's causing the feedback frequency. Each of the two notch controls can be set to different musical notes to deal with two different feedback frequencies. If you want the AD10 to find the feedback for you, then you can activate the auto scan function. You simply press both of the notch buttons at the same time and it will almost instantaneously find the frequency that's feeding back and remove it. If you're still experiencing feedback issues, then you can repeat the procedure by pressing the two notch buttons again and it will engage the second set of filters to take out a second note of feedback. And furthermore, this auto scan feature can even be assigned to a foot switch so you can eliminate feedback while you're playing. The depth of these filters can be controlled using subparameters because sometimes the filters can go a little too deeply affecting your guitar tone. If this is the case, then by adjusting the depth of the notch filters, you can strike a good balance between great tone and feedback elimination. So to recap, here's the best way to use the AD10's anti-feedback function. During sound check, first use the reduction knob to minimize any feedback at performance volumes whilst keeping your guitar tone as intact as possible. If any more feedback occurs during the show, activate the auto scan and eliminate it instantly. <laughs>